Hi there, it's Nicole McGuirk, and today I'm going to be sharing a card created with Lawn Fawn stamps and dies and some ThermaWeb products, and I'll be talking more about those as I create my card. This is a Happy New Year card, and it was inspired entirely by this gold glitter dust from ThermaWeb. And what I did was I cut this piece of cardstock a little bit smaller than the front of a standard size card, so probably about a quarter of an inch smaller on all sides. I would say it's probably four by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just using a box and I sprayed the ThermaWeb glitter dust on my cardstock. Now the great thing, I'm gonna set this to the side, but the great thing about this is that it dries in two or three minutes. So you're able to keep creating. You don't have to sit and let it, or let it sit for, you know, minutes or hours or whatever to let it dry. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and die cut some of the pieces for my card. Now I have another piece of cardstock here. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna use this Simon Says Stamp falling stars die and it covers the entire front of a standard size card and I'm using it because it's going to coordinate with my Lawn Fawn uh, the puffy stars stack stackables or yeah I think that's what they're called <laughs> dies so um, I wanted it to have a star theme throughout the whole card so I'm just going to pop out a few of those that didn't come right out you may have noticed that silver shim that I used while in uh, die cutting this. I like to use that whenever whenever I'm using a die that might be a little bit more intricate. It make it ensures that I get a really good die cut image. Now I'm going to pop out the two smallest size of these puffy star stackables dies from Lawn Fawn and I'm going to be using one of the this size and two of the smaller ones. So I'm just going to die cut those really quick. Again, just using a piece of white cardstock because I'm going to be covering them with the ThermaWeb gold glitter dust. So I ended up, I did die cut several since I had my die cut machine here. Um, just in case I mess some up, I a lot of times will cut several because I can either use them on other projects or I don't want to have to get the die cut machine again and, and die cut them. I may have messed things up several times in the past so I found for me that die cutting a couple extra isn't really such a bad thing. Grab that little teeny tiny guy in the center there and I'll die cut a couple of those as well. So by the time I have die cut all of that my glittered piece of paper is completely dry and of course that did probably take more than two or three minutes but not much more so you could see I touched it with my finger no nothing came off completely dry so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my stars and you can see they weren't getting very glittery or gold and I thought oh maybe I should shake up that can so I did go back and respray those now you can see what that looked like I just briefly put the die cut star background over that glitter dust background. You can see them pop through. I wanted to, wanted it to be kind of elegant looking in my color choices so it's all white and gold. Now I'm going to use the sentiment from the Lawn Fawn Happy New Year stamp set and I'm lining that up on the Lawn Fawn long block here and I'm going to use some Versamark ink. This is the Versamark Frost ink pad, and I just like the Frost ink pad. I use it for almost everything. I use the Champagne one once in a while as well, but usually I use the Frost one. It doesn't really matter because I'm usually embossing, so you're not even going to see what I put underneath it any, or use to stamp with anyway. And then I'm using some American Crafts gold embossing powder, and I'm going to heat that up. So once I have that heat set, I'm going to just go do that somewhere else. I'll bring it back over here to my desk, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Zig Glue pin to the back of this and kind of let it dry. Normally I would, if I was using this glue pin, I would go ahead and stick it on right away. But with this, I'm just going to let that dry so that it's clear and a little less sticky and it won't squish out when I apply it to my card. So there, I'm going to kind of stick it right there Oh, I'd say, you know, about a third of the way down the top of the card. I love with the vellum, you can see through it still with the background. And there I have a couple of my little stars. 
And I'm, I should also mention that I, apply, or I adhered the die cut background over that glittered background using the ThermoWeb Sticky Tab Runner. It worked great. I just wanted, I added little sticky tabs all over that and they're a really nice permanent bond, really sticky. So it stuck really well to that glittered background. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky getting an adhesive to stick to a glittered surface. And I'm using the ThermoWeb 3D foam squares. I had to cut one of those larger squares just a little bit smaller to fit my smaller stars. And I'll use an entire tab for that large star. And I'm just going to use some, or apply rather, some gemstones to my stars and to my card, just kind of sprinkled throughout to finish off the design. And I just want them to kind of overlap or be sprinkled throughout just to have nice movement. Now, with my last star here, I'm just going to adhere this large button. I'm going to thread some, uh, or string through it rather, and tie it into a bow on the front. Now, to secure that button to my large star, I'm going to use these. Uh, Zots from ThermoWeb. They're the singles and they're just a clear adhesive dot and they're super strong and super sticky. So again, it's a great way to secure an item to a glittered surface. And I use this because I want it. Not only was I securing the button to the glittered surface, but I'm adhering the button with the thread running through it. And I really want to make sure it sticks well. And this is a great way to do that without having to go ahead and thread or sew my button on because I wasn't even using a needle here um, through the entire thing. So this is just a nice alternative to actually having to sew it on. And I'll just tie that in a quick bow and then I'm going to um, adhere another gemstone to the center of that to really finish it off. Kind of work with my bow to make sure I get it just the way I want it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this card created with Lawn Fawn and ThermoWeb products. For more information, please visit my blog at www.nicolemawork.typepad.com on November 18, 2013. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.